We're at TV Line's Comic Con Suite, presented by ZTE with the cast of Once Upon a Time. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Lana, when you first read that it was suggested you'd be playing a dual role this season, what was your first reaction? I feel like I've been playing dual roles since the beginning. Um, I thought, this is awesome. It's going to be really interesting. I'm curious to see how it's going to play out. Yeah. And it's been fun. It's different. But it's it's a lot of fun. Will Regina be more chilled out now that she's the good one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Regina will ever chill out. But um, it's it's fun to play both the light and the dark, and to you know these to see the different sides of this character throughout the years and how she's evolved has been such an amazing journey for me and for our audience. Um, but the queen now is very different. She's without a conscience. So she's like pure evil and pure darkness. Mm -hmm. So it's fun. She's, it's still like early on and we're still discovering who she is as this entity, but um, it's fun. Jen and Colin, uh, any new obstacles for uh Hook and Emma, or is it sort of dream home, settle in, <laughs> happy ending time? Uh, I mean, it's Storybrooke. There's always uh, there's always something, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but uh, yeah, no, they sort of, I guess. They are. I mean, yeah, they're is, trying to move. This is very on, weird so. to have this conversation. This way. I just realized, like, we shouldn't probably do that. Um, yeah, I feel like. They're definitely, it's different now that they, they've established that it is true love. Mm -hmm. That, you know, at the end of season five, she had to weigh her heart and find out for sure, you know? And so I think there's new new excitement and love and, and, and romance there, but then it is Storybrooke, so there is definitely mm -hmm. um, something to overcome. Rebecca, <laughs> uh, are you and Regina BFFs now? Do you have each other's back? In real life or on telly? Telly. <laughs> I only care about the telly. Fine. Um, well, I don't want to give it away, but um, the sister relationship has taken an interesting sort of twist and turn, and um, it's complicated. Yes, if they were on Facebook, <laughs> it would say it's complicated. That would be on Facebook There's a lot status. Of selfies, let's just say that. They love taking selfies. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of selfies this season, <laughs> sister selfies. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a really, really, really fun relationship for me to explore. Like, it was nice for me to have a love interest with Hades last season and to like explore that part of my character because it was the first time she'd ever been in love. Mm -hmm. But I do really enjoy the, the dynamic between Regina and Zelina and that whole playing out because they both have those alter egos, you know, the Green Witch and the Evil Queen, and then the story broke version so playing around with those four characters and all the different variations of that is really fun. Emily last year you were here Rumpel was in a coma this year, this year you're in a sleep curse I see a pattern <laughs> it's a couple here. Of lazy relationships. <laughs> we're, we're just I done working together we have to have one that's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, contra it's contractual now so um, <laughs> really don't get along. Um, <laughs> yeah. What can you say about the premiere and when we pick up with you? It's looking very interesting for Belle and developments with her and Rumpel and her pregnancy. It's all kind of new and exciting. And as we alluded to at the end of last season, or yeah. slightly prior to the end, that finally there's been, I think, quite a big change in the Belle and Rumpel relationship, that they're finally really being honest with each other. She's taking responsibility for the fact that yeah, she knows he's never really going to change. She's accepting that instead of just always sort of saying she thinks she will. Or he's just being honest with the fact that he's not. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of on trade into a new perspective for her. Josh, what fresh hell waits the charming? <laughs> There's always some kind of hell. <laughs> Diaper hell. <laughs> it's the worst kind of hell. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we 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 all we're you know we're all dealing with the uh, the evil queen is back. The witch is back. And uh, I think for a lot of the characters, and particularly Charming, uh, you know, he's going to turn inward on himself, and he's going to have some things to deal with, yeah. and some things that he thought were truths in his life, he's going to find out maybe weren't so true. So, uh, yeah, they're going to have some stuff to deal with. Henry and Violet still going strong? I see some Pokemon Go dates in their future. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I think there should just be an entire scene in the episode where Henry's playing Pokemon, Pokemon Go. I love it. Yeah. I watch that episode. Yeah. yeah. And a Jared request for Jared or for Henry? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Uh, and I think this season, um, as everyone else has said, it's still early on in the season, so we don't really know everything but I think that I 
I'm going to enjoy exploring new things with Henry as he gets older as well. So it'll be it'll be fun and awesome. It's a pretty introspective season, I feel like, from mm-hmm. the script yeah. so far. Like, there's a lot of kind of turning inside for each character and having to face what they've been through up until this point and what that means from this point on. And everybody has to kind of deal with their own um, baggage in a certain way. 